Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Well, it has been a really pretty amazing couple of weeks. It really has been. A lot of my subscribers will know and anybody who knows me that I really love to uh, travel and adventure and, and see as many different places as I can. And over the last couple of years, I have managed to, but it's been a little bit difficult with juggling some health problems and a huge loss in my life, which was my dear Nan. Now, I have recently turned 30, and that's been something which I would have never thought as easy as what it was. Um, do you know, I was more um, more concerned and more stressed turning 25 um, than I was 30. I embrace 30, and I'm looking forward to my 30s, with um, all the amazing things to come. Now, for my 30th, my twin brother uh, really surprised me uh, with an amazing trip, um, for a city break in Belfast of Northern Ireland, we have both always shared an interest uh, for Titanic. Now, that has been something which, ever since I can remember, we've absolutely loved, and we've loved the story and of the Olympic liners, and my brother just goes through and through and through in great detail about uh, the White Star Line Company, and then, of course, uh, the sort of the Britannic, the Olympic, and, of course, Titanic, the most famous one. So for us, we've had a real shared knowledge of that, and we and that's something we've always loved. We're a very, very close uh, family, and Cameron and I, and your uh, some of my subscribers will will know because Cameron's featured on my channel. Um, we are very, very close. However, we don't necessarily always get time to do things uh, together and share that time together. If we can, we'll grab some time to grab some coffee or perhaps to go for a quick lunch or something like that. And every now and again, we get time uh, to catch up. But it's never really very often where we get a couple of days where we can really enjoy each other's time and um, that humor and that sort of almost revisiting as we were as kids, um, but of course being adults. Um, so it was really amazing. So uh, it wasn't until I came back and I thought about our trip and all the amazing times and memories and the laughter we shared that actually I learned something very, very valuable uh, from this. And, um, and do you know what? It's really, really remarkable. Our city break, Belfast, I call it our Irish holiday, it was fantastic. Right from when our father dropped us to the airport. I don't drive, Cameron does, um, but in his job, he's a company director and he's driving here, there and everywhere um, to different restaurants and things which he looks after and manages. And, um, and me, myself, I work in uh, finance. Um, unfortunately, I can't particularly tell you the role I do just because the nature of I work in, but um, it's by trade, I'm an accountant and, um, and that's something I love and figures are very much me. Um, but I very much love working with people. And I think that's one thing which I miss from my industry. Um, and in the background, retail banking was very much my uh, my career. Um, so anyway, moving on from that, so it was really nice to actually even just start it from um, that actually just jumping in the car, father took us to the airport, we had amazing flights over to uh, Belfast and Cameron had arranged everything. I know that for a long time we've been saving for this. And please don't think, oh my goodness, this lavish trip your twin brother has just uh, had bought you as a birthday gift. Is this kind of a normal thing? Well, different things in our life, we always, we don't try and outdo, but we always try to do special things for everybody. And that's all of my brothers. I am one of four. So my three brothers, um, we've often done different things and, and one thing or another, but um, and enjoy different times in that. And we are close as a family. But if we can, we will always help. So for example, my um, my twin brother has got a beautiful uh, little girl daughter, and my other two oldest brother, they've got twins, which is why I love all of my nieces and nephews. Um, Sieni, uh, which is, uh, her name is Sienna, which is my twin brother's daughter, um, she was born prematurely. And I think anybody who has, um, you see that experience, then you want to help. So it's 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 no lie. Um, I have I have helped. I've wanted to always be there um, through a whole host of nature of, of things, um, and that's just me. I mean, all of my nieces and nephews, I'd give my life for. I mean, I'm godfather to my second eldest brother's two um, twins as well, which I absolutely love and adore. That. Um, so different things. So if I can, I always spoil my nieces and nephews when I can, and my mum and dad. Um, we grew up in a very, very privileged life, and I've travelled to many different countries and things, had some incredible experiences. And my dear Nan, who I no longer have, however, I know she is up above, and she's with me always. Um, I always try to spoil her as well. So we've, we've been a bit of a family like that, but we put a lot we put a lot of time back to kind of steadily save, and we said that we would have an amazing time when we um, when we done this. So, of course, I've known about this trip for a little while, and um, right from when we got in the car, it was almost like 
phone. We were a couple of kids back at school and the laughter reeled in, the jokes. Honestly, it was brilliant. And I think we were starting to wind my father up, actually. My father and my mum, their mum and dad, they're best friends to me. We have a very close bond and um, it's it's lovely. It's beautiful. I wouldn't want it any other way. I thank the Lord every day for that. And um, right from getting through the airport, the flights were amazing. Cameron had organised, I think we had an electric, I think it was a Mercedes Benz. It was so cool and so incredible. It was an absolute privilege. Um, And it was just stunning. And that's how we started the trip off. Um, We stayed at the uh, Grand Central Hotel in Belfast, which was absolutely out of this world incredible. Um, We had a suite room, which was um, absolutely amazing. Um, King size beds. I've never seen beds that big in my absolute life. It was incredible. Um, And you can just imagine the typical jokes out of the films, the robes, the slippers. We took some incredible pictures and things. We had a great time. As soon as we got there, of course, we're both enthusiasts around Titanic and we absolutely loved that. So so when we seen Titanic Quarter, we wanted to plan because on the on the Tuesday we had Cameron had got us uh, premium top white starline tickets for to do everything in the museum in the Belfast experience on the Tuesday, but we wanted to be planned for it. So we got there really, really early on the Monday morning. Our flights got us there. I think we were into Belfast for around seven AM. So the time we got to the hotel we had um we had this lovely lavish breakfast and we said We need to get there. We need to find it. So we walked and walked and walked until we found Titanic uh, Quarter, which was beautiful. And we passed some incredible architecture in Belfast City uh, Centre. And um, Cameron and me are, again, enthusiasts around architecture, art we love. So the buildings, absolutely incredible. And I would recommend them. uh, I'd recommend the city to anybody who wanted a city break. It is so so different to where i live in this part of the country um in the uk and and it was just amazing right before we got there we had some incredible pictures um absolutely lots of i just well that many pictures when i look back on my phone it was it's just great the memories we created just on that very first morning was absolutely amazing and anyway as we got down to titanic quarter and we got closer and closer and closer um there is a uh, there's a remaining white star line uh ship which was a tender ship for titanic taking the first class passengers to titanic and luggage and one thing and another and um, i can never say the name of the ship but i think it's pronounced nomadic um cameron would be very quick because the whole time we were there i couldn't i couldn't say i was saying all sorts of things um but yeah so that was great so we found that honestly heart beating in the chest absolutely amazing um and yeah it was absolutely loved it and as we got closer and closer we said that we wouldn't spoil it anymore because we could see everything there and it's a huge great big building a star-shaped building for the white star line company um of course which was the uh, olympic steamer uh the company who who owned them so it was amazing so um, we walked all the down there and that was absolutely lovely and then we thought we'd leave it for the the the, the Tuesday and um, we walked back up in the shopping centres and things in Belfast City Centre was incredible and Cameron and I love our clothes our sort of our trends and sort of fashions aftershaves jewellery that type of thing so we had an amazing time um, it was really really great it really was and we the running jokes and things and it was amazing we had an amazing lunch and we had um, some drinks in um, I think one of the oldest bars in Northern Ireland, which was really, really cool as well. And just kind of spitting up the story, we had a lovely meal in the hotel. And the hotel had an observatory, which you would, you would sit out up there on the 23rd floor and look out. And that observatory was incredible. Extortionately expensive. Um, but we dressed for the evening, dressed for the occasion, um, grand piano, absolutely everything. You could not do this all the time. It was almost like a once thing. Um, we would say we would go back, but we wouldn't go back for as long. We'd only go back for a short stay. Um, but it was, it was amazing, absolutely amazing. And then fast forward on to Tuesday, uh, had an amazing breakfast in the morning. Um, the laughter and the jokes we shared, honestly. And it, it isn't until I look back on it now, I think that actually... I've always, always said that me and me and my brother Cameron and my twin, we're very, very close. But you know what? Sometimes how often do we take the time to enjoy our loved ones? So yes, sometimes we give them a hug and, and we say how much they mean and you share laughter and good times and Christmases and birthdays and milestones and those sad times and those happy times. How often do you just enjoy them because they're your people? 
How often? And you know, it wasn't until I realised that, and it was something really special I really learnt and I'm treasuring when I'm back home now. Um, and on that Tuesday, when we went down to, um, we made our way down to Titanic Quarter again, and it's a beautiful walk um, down into Titanic Quarter from the city centre, and uh, that was stunning. And on the, uh, the Prima White Star Line passes, which Cameron organised, we'd done uh, a walking tour, which was amazing. The Holland Wolf had offices, um, which is now made into a hotel, and that was incredible. The, um, I think, is it John Jacob Astra, um, the designer, and Lord Prairie, and their offices, and that was amazing. And this, the, it feel, felt like that you were on Titanic. The decor, the ambience, just the the just the sort of that luxury from that time you could really, really feel and see. And just all the hard work that went into it, just breathtakingly amazing. Um, and I mean, just something like just very, very quickly, uh, which so we even got to, to touch the, the tiles, which are now sitting on the bottom of the Atlantic in the Titanic in the swimming pool, because the Olympic had the same swimming pool with the same tiles. However, the Britannic, um, as the war broke out, there was no need for a, a swimming pool on that ship so therefore i think it was um what do they call it um not a nursing ship um it was used in the, in uh, almost like a hospital vessel hospital ship so there wasn't a need for this luxury of swimming pool so the tiles stayed in the harland and wolf um head offices until it was uh renovated um and made into uh the hotel and then what it is today so then they when they'd done that they made the tiles and they used them um they used the tiles sorry around in the bar which you're sat at the bar there and then they tell you and then it's just wow and they're beautiful tiles and you can tell they're from that era that golden age and it's just amazing we had um, we had some drinks there and that was absolutely amazing and then after that we we done the museum tour and the sights inside our site was just you need several days doing it. It was just breathtakingly beautiful. It really was absolutely incredible. And then the slipways, they have um, sort of posts where the gantry was, which was, was built to help build Titanic and Olympic. And then, of course, that was taken down in the 60s. And then you have the Titanic and the, the Olympic uh, metal posts have been to the air um, where they, they once stood. Um, and it's just incredible, absolutely incredible. So we took time to go around there and just me and Cameron were like little kids taking pictures and finding little bits of the original iron from where the Titanic was. And there's even a rivet in the ground from the Olympic. Um, so amazing stuff. And then from that time, we had lunch in there, which was really, really lovely. And then we spent ages going around to the gift store. Honestly, what Cameron spent in that gift store for his fiance and um, his little girl Um was incredible it really really was but we bought loads of cool stuff and that was amazing um and then from there um what did we do from there on the tuesday that was um so so special it really really was and then we made our way up to one the city center again after we finished there after most of the day no sorry um the nomadic ship we we looked around that white star line vessel which was absolutely breathtakingly beautiful as well and then after a look around the slip race again we went back up to the city center had some drinks into a bar there which was just cool more pictures and then finished the evening in the hotel and the observatory so really really cool I feel so comfortable talking on my channel, so a lot of my subscribers will know that I use my channel as uh, almost like a virtual diary. So uh, we had, and I hope that's really capturing that. That um, I want to share all these great things, and um, and yeah, it really, it really was an incredible time, which I will always treasure, um, and all my holidays. But I don't ever get to really spend too much time um, with my twin brother, who who is absolutely just amazing, and. Um, yeah, I learned so much, and uh, yeah, it's um, he's a really cool person, and it was really, really great to spend that time with him. I love him to pieces. And um, on the Wednesday, which was takes me really, really lovely on, because I am a faith. Faith is so much to me. It's my guiding light in this life. Um, and I get that through my nan, um, and Cameron is as well. Um, I think also me, but Cameron is. So I really wanted to see the cathedral in the city centre, in the cathedral quarter. So we made our way there and I said to Cameron, we do what we sort of, I don't know how we decided, but we do what I wanted to do in the morning. And then in the afternoon, Cameron arranged us to do a tour at the Titanic Distillery down by the um, Belfast uh, Titanic Experience, but right to the end. Um, so we've done that in the afternoon, but the cathedral 
We took time, we done a tour in there. It was absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. We've got some incredible pictures. We took the time to pray in there, which was just absolutely, um, just, it was magical. That connection with the Lord above, with Jesus, it was just amazing. And I loved it so, so much. And I got to do it with my twin brother. So I'm so, so privileged on so many levels. And that was beautiful. And um, and after that, then we made our way down to the Titanic Quarter again in such a long walk down into the distillery, where we done a tour in there, how they do the distillery for the Titanic spirit. So on this occasion, it was the whiskey and the vodka, which was incredible. Yes, we even got to try it as well, which was pretty cool. But what's really, really, I suppose, but it's, it's a real standout highlight thing, which we wouldn't have even known, is that the distillery is in the pump house of the dry dock, which is where Titanic went to have all its grandeur fitted, that grand staircase, all of those beautiful first class rooms and, and the propellers of the ship and all its finery fitted. And you can see it and it is so incredible. And you and from the um, museum, but from the dry dock, you really do get an extent of just how grand and how huge and how beautiful that ship was and always will be. Um, so that was amazing there to spend time there too. And we had um, some pictures and uh, yeah, we even had a cocktail there from the Titanic distillery, which was amazing too. And then after that, um, we went into the Guinness bar, which is by the, um, which is paying homage to all the workers and all the men which put uh, and built Titanic and the artwork. Um, there's a portrait, I believe it's pronounced Exodus, and I think it's, I can't quite remember the artist's name, Bradley, and I can't, forgive me for that, and um, it's easier to remember because it's my name, of course, and Cameron really, really loved that artwork, so it may be a bit of a Christmas gift I'm going to try and find for him as well, coming up um, as well, and then we, we went in that bar, we had actually some, we had a Guinness, and that was really cool, and I don't drink Guinness, I'm more of a, a wine person myself, or if I do have a spirit, it's brandy, and um, and I'm, I'm not a big drinker at all. It's only occasional and it's only literally one or two with different health problems and things I've had in the past. To be honest, it scared me completely. So, um, so that was really enjoyable. We had lunch and that was lovely. And then went back up to the city center and then finished the day. And, um, in the evening we went out in the city and that was really, really cool. And, um, we went to, I believe, a Michelin star restaurant, which Cameron arranged and we had cocktails and it was, the whole evening was just absolutely incredible. We had quite a laugh as well. And, um, well, a hell of a laugh. We really, really did. It was amazing. And the following day, just to finish up, we went on the opposite side of the dockyard and the river where Titanic's uh, Belfast and the, and the dockyard and the museum, the whole experience sits. And we walked right to the end, got to see some incredible things. We just walked around. We'd done some more shopping, really lovely lunch. And we had some incredible flights home. Um, it was a very turbulent flight home. And my brother, bless him, absolutely hates flying. Um, but yeah, it was so, so cool. So what did I learn from that? So I learned that actually, um, and we've touched on it a little bit already, that there is nothing more important in this world than family. So straight off for me and my family, on my parent table is my mum, my dad, my nan. My nan is always a second mum to me. Um, I'm very, very privileged in this life. And the Lord blessed me with incredible, incredible family. My mum, my dad, and my nan. I've got incredible brothers. I've got uh, I've got so many incredible family. My aunt, my uncle, who I'm very very close to. My sister-in-law, my nieces and nephews. Um, absolutely love love them to pieces. I give my life for them. Um, my grandparents uh, on my father's side. Um, yes, absolutely. There is nothing more important in family. And we say that, and we love and adore them. Well, I hope we do. Um, how often do we enjoy them? Now. My parents and I always have a very, very special bond, and I enjoy their company all the time, whether it be meals out, whether it be days out, whether it be going for lunch with my mum, whether it be a heartfelt chat in the garden with my dad over uh, over some coffee in the, in the garden, putting the world to rights, or whether it be me and my mum sharing a trip into town, spending some money, treating ourselves with different things. And um, brothers, how often do I spend the time to enjoy them? Probably more so my nieces and nephews. But with work, we have different different lives. We have different paths in this life. And what it taught me is that, as I know with the different things I've been through, life is not easy. And sadly, we've only got to turn on the television in this, in this world, anywhere in the world, and we are greeted with horrific things which happen, horrific things which sometimes we have no control over at all. Sadly, we live in a crazy world which there is, unfortunately, a lot of evil. We'd like to think that we were all indispensable and that we were all healthy and well and that nothing will ever ever happen to those who we adore most in this world. I am of faith 
but I know all too well that life doesn't work that way. So what it really, really hits home to me to think that actually, with the greatest will in the world, we can't always 100% say that there will always be that time. And in a way, it did fill me a little bit of a sadness when we were on our way home. Number one, that it was over, but that actually it took us so long to do. Because, of course, the COVID, so that took a couple of years out from everybody's life. Then me with health problems, so for about six years through operations and things. And in that time, I got to go on different holidays and I had different adventures and things with mum and with dad and and with my nan and um, my nan's illness. And I spent a lot of magical memories with her as well. Because, yes, she had Alzheimer's, but she was still my nan. Um, and she always will and always will be. And um, I miss her every day. And it's just like that. Again, there was never the right time with me and my twin brother to do this. He had his fiance, um, has his fiance, sorry, um, his little girl, and with her being extremely premature, there has never been a right time. We hit thirty. It took that long for us to do something so incredible as this. We've had amazing times, absolutely, but whether it's just been the two of us, yeah, absolutely. So it really does just hit home to think that actually, enjoy your loved ones. Yes, you love them. Yes, you adore them. And you would give your life for them. But take time to enjoy them. It doesn't have to be a lavish trip like which Cameron um, sport us on and what I sport him on. Have you all a look at that? Um, it could be a trip out. It could be a walk. It could be a lunch. It could be taking the time to really just spend time with you and that other person in your family, whether it be mum, whether it be dad, nan, granddad, uncle, aunt, niece, nephew, grandchildren, husband, wife. You know what I mean? So it's just... Yes, absolutely. Family is so, so important. But this trip really taught me that actually, yes, my mum and my dad and my nan, always. But there are family which I love and adore. And I'm always saying, yeah, I love and adore, absolutely. And yeah, I send a message in Christmas and this, that, and the other. And then actually you think, when do I actually enjoy them? When do I enjoy the incredible people they are? That's what this trip taught me. My twin brother and I have an uh, incredible bond. And there's not many people in the world which know me like he does. Take mum, dad. No, no, the way. Be honest, there probably isn't anybody. Um, I don't have a fiance or a girlfriend at the moment. I'd love to, and hopefully that will be in my plan. Um, I know it's in God's plan for me, and I have faith, and that's going to get me through. That's my guided light in this life. For me, it's career at the moment, and building a life, and looking towards buying my first home. Cameron, he's got his fiance. He's got his little girl. When do I take the time to just enjoy how incredible he is? That's what this trip taught me. And it's strange, isn't it, in a way? Why wait to do something so incredible to enjoy that person? You don't have to. So do something spontaneous, and sometimes that's the most coolest and funnest of them all. Take a time out to enjoy those incredible people in your lives, whether it be brothers, sisters, friend, best friend. Perhaps it's somebody you haven't spoken to for a while. Honestly, it is so, so, so worth it. The warmth and the love you feel in here, just by enjoying that incredible moment with that incredible special person. It's priceless. Thank you very, very much indeed for sharing this with me. God bless and take great, great care. If you do have any questions or if you'd like to leave me any comments at all, please leave them down below. It is an absolute privilege to share this story with you. And my friends, my subscribers, God bless and take care. I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.